Hello everyone. So in this video, we will show that how can we install Foxit PDA printer in our Linux system. Now, every Linux distribution comes with a default PDF reader, but Foxit reader is best one of them. Well, many of the person uses Adobe reader in our in the in their uh, Windows system, right? And for a PDF viewer, we does not have a good reader in Linux. So for that, for that you can use Foxit reader. So first open up your browser and in the Google search for a Foxit reader download and click on this first link which is a free PDF reader uh, viewer, right? Click on this first link which is foxit.com. Now from here click on this download now button. Now here it will uh, open up a prompt here and it will need to select that. So you need to just select Linux 64 bit and click on this free download button so it will download a installer file for us right so wait for a few seconds now click on uh, save so as you can see file started download I have already downloaded it so I just you know uh, cancel it now after downloading this file what you need to do just open up your uh, download directory and in the download directory, you, you will find this type of uh, foxitreader.tar.zz file. So just uh, right click on it and uh, extract here. So it will uh, extract the file. And uh, you will find this type of installer, right? This type of foxit.run installer file. So just right click on it and click on open in root. Sorry, right click and uh, click on open in terminal. And from here, if you... Uh, type ls hyphen l sorry ls uh, ls hyphen l so you can find foxit installer dot run this file so you need to provide executable all the permission to that file so for that just type sudo chmod and then 777 and then the name which is uh, foxit sorry Fox it reader setup uh, six and then uh, the name may be RB something. So what you need to do for uh, you know renaming this type of file, I would recommend to rename this file first because it will help you to install that file. So just click on rename and you can rename it as foxit uh, reader okay so now if you open up your terminal and from here if you type ls hyphen l so as you can see foxit reader dot run here so we need to provide the executable permission all so just type sudo and then chmod and then 777 and then the name which is foxit reader dot run now provide your super user password which is uh, for my case this is I hope oh, oh sorry I entered wrong password so enter super user password now for insta uh, installing this file you, what you need to do you just need to type sudo dot slash and then uh, the file name and hit enter so it will open up a prompt for us so just click on next click on I accept license click on next and uh, as you can see it just installing all the components of uh, foxit reader for us so almost completed click on next click on finish so as you can see foxit reader get installed in our system if i search it for foxit reader as you can see foxit reader is here so i click on it and click on uh, ok so as you can see foxit reader got open i can pin this into my panel right and uh, this is thing and uh, now i need to open up a pdf reader PDF file from here, right? I have made a PDF file. Uh, say I have uh, DSA. Wait, at first I find a PDF. Let's say uh, let's say I have these made as a books are there, and uh, say if I open uh, this Rimamam book. So this is Rimamam Rimathrajas data structure book, right? and if i close this book from 
from a particular face let's say a little bit scroll down more so I have closed this file from this brief contents let's say I close this and if I again double click this file so as you can see file got open from the previous state so this is the basically uh, advantage to use a PDF reader right and you can do just right click and click on properties and from here open with and select this Foxit reader set as default if it if it does not select Foxit reader by default so you can select this right so this is the basically few steps so you can do so if this video is helpful for you you can uh, like this video and thank you for watching this video guys i will see you in the next time